Mexican Hayride Musical from Wikipedia, the free online encyclopedia at wikipedia.org. Mexican Hayride is a musical with a book by Herbert Fields and Dorothy Fields and music and lyrics by Cole Porter. The show opened on Broadway in 1944. Production. Produced by Michael Todd, out-of-town tryouts began at the Schubert Theater Boston on December 29, 1943. The production opened on Broadway on January 28, 1944, at the Winter Garden Theater, moved to the Majestic Theater on December 18, 1944, and closed on March 17, 1945, after 481 performances. The production was staged by Hassard Short, who also was the lighting designer, with choreography by Paul Hakon, set by George Jenkins, and costumes by Mary Grant. Various segments were separately directed. Dan Eckley directed the opening dance, Lou Kessler directed the songs Girls and Abracadabra, and Virginia Johnson and Dan Eckley directed the dance Goodwill Movement. The cast featured Bobby Clark, Joe Bascom, June Havoc, Montana, George Givot, Lambo Campos, Wilbur Evans, David Winthrop, and Paul Hakon, Paul. In 2011, Lost Musicals, also known as the Lost Musicals Charitable Trust, 1069268, presented Mexican Hayride in London's Sadler's Wells Theatre. Ian Marshall Fisher directed, Michael Haslam, music director. Cast included Louise Gold, Graham Bickley, Michael Roberts. Plot Overview After successfully fighting a bull in Mexico, Montana, a lady bullfighter, is about to throw the ear to David, the American charge d'affaires. When she spots the fugitive, Joe, she angrily throws the ear at him, as he is her brother-in-law. Since he has caught the ear, he becomes a hero and an honored guest. Joe joins with a speculator to form a national lottery. Mexican authorities go after them, and they are forced to flee. They show up in various disguises, as mariachi players, as tortilla vendors, or as an Indian squaw. They are finally snared, and Joe has to return to the U.S. to face trial. Montana and David are reunited. Songs. Act 1. Entrance of Montana. Principals, girls, and boys. Dance, girls and boys. Sing to me guitar. Lolita, ensemble, and musical trio. The Goodwill Movement. David and ensemble. I love you, David. There must be someone for me, Montana. Carlotta, Lolita, and ensemble. And girls, boys and girls. Act 2. What a crazy way to spend Sunday, girls and boys. Abracadabra, Montana, and boys. Dance, girls, boys, and the mariachi players. Count your blessings, Montana, and boys. And Toreador Ballet, Paul, and ensemble. Life magazine called the musical Broadway's flashiest and most opulent show of the moment, but wrote that, despite its colossal aspects, it ends up as a showcase for the talents of two performers, loping, braying Bobby Clark, and hoydenish, streamlined June Havoc. Clark clowns his way through the part of a U.S. confidence man, Miss Havoc, in the role of an American girl who becomes one of Mexico's most famous bullfighters, emerges as a personality more engaging than her better-known sister, Gypsy Rose Lee. Both she and Clark are wonderful enough to make audiences forgive Hayride its sleazy book and a Cole Porter score that is a sad reminder that the composer of Night and Day seems, at least temporarily, to have written himself dry. The production was lavish, with a large cast and a delectable chorus line. One critic felt that the production itself was the star. The Journal American reviewer wrote, Broadway in general, and the drama critics in particular, can continue their custom of writing the word fabulous in front of the name of Mike Todd. For the truth is that last night the fabulous Todd produced a musical comedy so funny, so tuneful, so beautiful, that you could hardly believe your ears and eyes. Recording a cast recording of the original production is available. It was originally issued in 1944 on DECA, DECA A372. Film The film version of Mexican Hayride, 1948, became a vehicle for Abbott and Costello and used no Cole Porter songs from the musical. This audio was recorded on August 5, 2019.